What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and today for you have another episode of my Let's Play Isengard, Third Age, Total War, Moz, Subod, I kind of said it all in the wrong order but nevertheless, here we go. Now obviously I played a couple turns ahead as I usually do at the end of an episode just to kind of speed up the process. Going along here, I will go through all my troop recruitment and movements and what's really going on at Edoras down here very shortly. But um, this came up and I thought this would be rather interesting to see. Uh, studies documented. They were the fire weapons or something. I um, used, I guess, the script that I allowed it. So should Isengard be given the chance to unleash their devices upon the world? I think we should. Look rather cool. We also have a take the settlement of Ent. Entway or Entwaz. Um, okay. Fire weapons unleashed. My lord, new inventions are created deadlier than ever. Fire will... Rain down on the FIFA fucking middle rock. Yeah, okay, I get that. Orcs, the Misty Mountains, Sylvan Elves are at war. Okay, let's have a look at this. We have... Was that it? No, they're those, um... Snagger. We'll move them into, uh, Foldberg for the moment. What? Holy crap! Uruk Bomb Throwers? Holy crap. Fire launchers. Attack vest troops 63. 10% to buildings. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. The fire launcher resembles a wooden fire demon wagon. Holy shit. And that guy's got 200 in his unit for some reason. So we'll move him out. What's his name? Maluk. So we've got another general. Move my look. Um, okay. <clears throat> troop recruitments. We'll quickly go through them and then we'll go through troop movements. So more door army just chilling in and around there for some reason. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. At the moment we're currently besieging Edoras. I currently have Saruman with a crazy, crazy army. Look at that, he's got one, two, three, four, five, five guards of Arth Althank here. All Urukai, and that's the main attack that's happening. I've got him under the command. There's no one in Rohan. Rohan? Uh, Rohan? Edoras. In Edoras, sorry. There's a fair few good troops. They've got a lot of cavalry. But, um, they've been, yeah, they've got some in Rolling Axe, but it will be a very long battle, which I will play. We have um, Agluk here with just, I guess, the remaining troops. There's just a lot of uh, Snagger troops. There's a couple of Uruk Reavers and Urukai infantry, but apart from that, there's not really too much there. I do have Agluk, Ag, eh, Lager here, but I'm just thinking whether or not I could, hmm, I should wait, because I could even make a third army, because these guys are pretty well right in around here. So I'm actually going to move this army back to the Foldberg. And we're going to rally up with this army here. And then I think I will march as one, and I'll give the command to... I don't know if we're going to keep this general or not. So, But he do has 200 of his units, so he might actually have like a fire launcher unit. I'm not too sure, but... Gazbag... Hmm. I'm just thinking whether or not to keep him in the Hornburg. Or I think I might just keep him in the Foldberg. I'll take everyone out. Um, I'll take this lot and uh, Lager. Take the command because he's got a, he's got decent loyalty. Oh, um, over in the east, I did build a lot of watchtowers with Lurts, so we can we've got a very good eye on our um, lands. There's also a um, a Elven um, fortress here. Lon Agron, so um, that's interesting. We board with the High Elves. I thought they would have been under the command of the Men of Dunland, but I've been mistaken. But we have alerts coming back now. It's good now we've got all these watchtowers. We can keep a very good eye on our, on our army. I would imagine that I'm going to give alerts the command of the second army, but our second breast general is Agluk. So, uh, yeah. We're continuing the Siege of Edoras. I won't do it just yet. Actually, hang on. What's the percentage? 10 to 3. Holy crap. We nearly triple them. But I think I'm going to besiege it just for a little bit longer because uh, I don't want to lose too many troops. They can, yeah, they can last out for another seven, so. 
Maybe I should. I could even wait until this army comes in, but no, we need to take Antwaid very shortly. Might actually send that army there. But nevertheless, um, <laughs> Rohan is starting to fall now, and we're starting to field crazy amount of armies. So um, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next turn. Hey guys, welcome back, and <laughs> it's what to be expected. We're losing a shitload of money now. Um, I would imagine. Oh, hang on, what's this? Okay. <clears throat> I would imagine that's wholly and solely because of those um, fire units we got. Yeah, look at that. 200 upkeep a piece. So that means we just simply need to get our troops in the field. So um, let's do that now. I'm not too sure I have me about to fit in this in this army. So um, we the Euro here. We've got two more spots left. Well, this army is going to be heading on to Antway. I have an up and go here, guys. I don't know if you guys have that where you live, but um, I ducked off and got a got a quick drink. Why the uh, the turn was moving? Up and go, liquid breakfast, protein, high fiber, ninety eight percent fat, chocolate ice. It's really awesome. I don't really have them too much, but they're all right. Um, okay. Yeah, we're probably recruiting too much. So maybe I should start disbanding some troops. I think, hmm. I don't know what this Mordor army is doing here, but um, we will lose some troops in the fight for Edera, so. Mm, I'm just thinking whether or not to do it now. Yeah, why not? Let's do it now. Um, we're going to take Edoras this turn. Far out, this is going to be an epic battle. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys on the campaign map. Our first, actually, battle with Saruman, which would be kind of cool. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the battle map. Welcome to the battle map, guys. Going with a pretty stock stand deployment. It looks pretty cool from this perspective. Look at these guards of all thank. Holy shit. Um, I don't know if actually watchtowers actually work on this map because it looks pretty low the wall. So I've just gone with the ladders. They're gonna hit the flank. Um, can they even do that? What the hell? Why can't they go on the walls? Why can't we only use rams? God, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get these orc reavers to go grab that ram then. I thought we would have been able to get on the walls. I with the ladders at least. Yeah. Mind you, they are pretty small. Hmm. I'm not liking that. Drop the ladders. Because the thing is, if we lose that ram, we are. Uh, we probably won't be, able to, won't be able to get in. It's pouring down with rain. Holy crap. We should be pretty all right. There's a, uh, from the looks of it, there's no, like, archer units here. So, we should be pretty well right. I guess we'll get the, uh... Okay, what are they doing here? So we have the gateway now, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, looks like we're moving everyone in. Uh, we still want this ramp to be moved up, though. But we'll move everyone in. Um, I might keep my guards of all thank in reserve for the time being. Um, I think I might move all this Urukai in, though. I'll leave the Reavers out there. I'll move everyone else in. Yeah, I don't. If I don't have to use the guards of all thank because we all need them at some stage. So yeah, that was quite interesting. Um, I wouldn't have thought they would have done that, but hey, whatever floats your boat, I guess. There they are coming up, coming up around the other side of the hill. Wow, we're going to get slaughtered coming up and around here. 
fighting uphill as well. Look at that, that clusterfuck there. Holy shit. Awesome. Okay, then I'm just going to move this whole army up to about... I would say, hang on, is that... Oh, probably not quite yet, hang on. Yeah, that's more like it. Make everyone run. It's getting a little bit laggy, but... um. We should be right. You're a guy. Yeah, we're going to be losing a shit ton because of these arrows. But hopefully the orcs will come up on the other side and they'll help us a bit. We'll be able to surely smash past these um, Erling Axemen. Or Yerling, whatever you want to call it. Um, is there any way we can get up on the other side? No. I guess we're just going to have to kind of push through, I guess. Where's our archers? I did command our archers to get up there because we might need them. Even though we've only got like 52 of them. Um, should I send some troops around? Nah. There goes the ram. Ugluk has pushed through, which is awesome. And now the slaughter begins. Well, how are we going now? 1% to 16. That's not too bad. Building captured gateway. I guess we could get our archers to fire up at... A lot of action. What do you mean building lost? Building captured. I don't like how they've always got that spam going on. But hey. I think I'm going to group this up, and then uh, be able to identify. Have they made a push down here yet? It's getting a little bit laggy because all our troops are in the field at the moment. But we should be alright. I knew we were going to lose some troops, that's why I brought up two armies. Yeah, we've lost 5% already. Which is to be expected, we're attacking the great city, the capital of Rohan, Edoras. Um, even though it's got really shitty defences, like as in uh, walls, but look at that, that's crazy. Just these arrows are doing the most amount of damage. <coughs> Lucky Theoden's not here. Oh, no, Theoden's dead, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't, can't remember his father's name. He's still alive, but... So I might send a lot of Urukai down to attack these guys that are routing and coming up the hill. So they get caught in the snaps of uh, Ugluk's army. Holy crap! We've pretty much just swarmed this city. <laughs> Actually kind of lucky that I didn't like commit everyone. No, oh, there's a time limit as well, shit. So what are we looking at now? 5% killed to 32% of the enemies killed. That's not too bad. Sending we've only committed Urukai into it. We've still got some Uruk Reavers left in reserve. Um, I didn't want to put the Berserkers in because... I didn't think we quite needed. They would have been taken out by the archers really, really badly. But, um, yeah, all good. All good. Um, I don't know if our archers did any effect. I've kind of just got them sitting down there, firing up. We've got our guards of all thank and reserves if shit hits the fan. And I think Ugluk has just, uh, merged our forces together. Yeah, look at that. Pushing them to the bitter end. To the cliffs. Kind of reminds me of, um, 300 in a way, I guess. 
But yeah, this is where Rohan's making their last stand. Now, um, we do have to attack Antwaid. Uh, I do have that army with those newly fire rockets. I can't remember his name. Laguk? No. Ook, I can't remember. Someone. We have a general. He's going to be heading there, so we'll be able to test off those fire rockets really, really soon. That would be fucking awesome to see. Um, I actually haven't tested fire rockets, I don't think, in... Uh, well, in the vanilla, because I think the Byzantians, the Byzantiums or Byzantines have it, so um, I don't, I don't know, I don't really know how it works, but I imagine it's just like a catapult or those arrow things. I think I might move our archers out. At the moment, there's not really much to talk about. Um, it, it's just simply a grind. They've pretty much given up, I think. <laughs> And, uh, and they haven't got any archers happening. Oh no, they do have their archers going off, so we still are losing a little bit from archers. But basically, we're just pushing through the guff. <laughs> what have they even got left? Just wanna. They've just got cavalry, really. Enrolling archers, some royal guard. What's back here? Just. Just random crap. 7% to what? 43. Yeah. This only thing a little bit tedious about Total War is this. Holy fuckers, that is crazy. It's just the grind, that last little push when they're just like, not doing too much. We've still got heaps of them down here ready to get in there, which is awesome. So I do need to remember to give, to um, rally back, um, what's his name? Lurtz, because he's, in the op he's on the other side of... The Empire just doing his thing, building up watchtowers, which is which was needed. But um, let's have a look at these other troops. These guards, God, these guys are awesome. They they're like I think they're like the equivalent of like the Fountain Guard in Gondor. They're kind of like pretty cool. There's Saruman himself. He's even got some guards of all thank. I think we're pretty far away to use that shout, but shout as. <laughs> Use that um, voice of Saruman, but holy crap! Where is um? Uh, look, I think he's here. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Don't really know what he's doing, just giving his commands. Um, holy crap! Ba -do -do -do. That's awesome. We're going to put up a valiant fight. They are a valiant enemy. Awesome. At least it's not as long as Roma Serectum 2. Good God. I'm probably going to have to record some of that later. That, um, not good God, like a bad thing, but... Damn battles, because they've, like, doubled it. They've doubled the armor, like, usually in a total war, I think it's, like, 16 armor or something. And, like, they've doubled the armor of, like, every unit. So battles go for twice as long. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit tedious when you're recording, but it's really realistic and uh, it's awesome. Fire are these Eurokai are going to get some experience just pushing up through here. So guys, um, if you guys have any suggestions for this Isengard campaign, as in, should we... Well, it's kind of obvious that we're going to push, obviously, Rohan out of... Uh, Rohan. Uh, we're going to eliminate them. But after that, um, I guess you could make the decision whether or not we could we could go north. We could attack Bree, um, attack the three the free peoples of Erid, or even push out the. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter, and I reply to absolutely everything. On there, you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up when I've posted a video and all that good stuff. So uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.